My name is Caitlin Kelstead, and this is my presentation for Advanced Experience Design. Do you operate a small business and have trouble gaining awareness? Or maybe you're someone that loves to support local but isn't sure where to start. We might have the perfect solution for you. Introducing Live in Local, a curated subscription box dedicated to supporting local businesses worldwide. Our concept is designed to foster connections by showcasing a different small business each month tailored to your location and interests. Inside, you'll discover a diverse array of local delights, unique gifts, products, and more. Our mission isn't just about increasing visibility, but also forging collaborations and nurturing close-knit communities. While subscription boxes are great, there is a single challenge associated with them. Marketing can be a daunting task, especially when you lack significant resources for high-level marketing efforts. Today, I'm presenting a proposal to not only promote the Live-In Local brand, but also the local businesses that partner with the subscription box. The goal is to establish a retail space situated within airports worldwide. Airports attract diverse individuals from various corners of the globe, whether they're traveling for leisure, business, or other purposes. Given the ample time many passengers have between connecting flights, there's no better way to promote Live-In Local. In a space measuring 20 feet by 40 feet with a ceiling height of 15, Live in Local intends to create an environment featuring an assortment of restaurants and shops complete with a station for individuals to sign up for the subscription box. Essentially, the idea is to bring local to you and bring the experience of the box to you. The design concept for this small shop embodies a rustic style drawing inspiration from the homesteads established far from urban centers during the 1900s. These settlers constructed their homes hastily using only locally available materials. Rustic design embraces natural elements, showcasing an aged organic and sometimes slightly distressed appearance that exudes a cabin-like ambiance. The decision to employ a rustic style was influenced by the charm of small local shops. When people envision local stores, they often picture quaint, cozy spaces. The aim here is to bring a piece of the local experience to you, infusing the design with elements that evoke the genuine warmth and authenticity of these local shops. As you approach the area, you immediately notice the use of entirely natural materials, including wood, galvanized metal, brick, and more. The primary structure takes on a house-like form featuring a curve symbolizing the live-in local brand mark. This particular design element was selected to establish a sense of unity within the structure, imparting a cohesive feel to the space. Overall, this creates a welcoming and homey atmosphere that encapsulates the local charm of being at home. The warm lighting casts an inviting ambiance and comfortable seating is thoughtfully provided for attendees to unwind and relax. As guests approach the area, they will receive a warm welcome at a reception desk. This is where attendees can directly pose questions to a knowledgeable representative. Additionally, it serves as a convenient spot for individuals to obtain informational cards about Live in Local and conveniently complete a survey using their own smartphone by scanning the provided QR code. This particular experience might pique the interest of individuals such as Adam Smith, a 50-year-old bachelor hailing from Winnipeg, Canada, who frequently travels for business. Adam embodies the essence of a small-town man relishing activities like fishing, hunting, and snowmobiling, all while frequently going to his preferred local eateries. When he's not traveling, Adam is always eager to lend his support to his hometown in any way possible. Presently running slightly behind schedule for his upcoming flight, he spots Livin' Local from a distance and is keen to delve deeper into it. He grabs the survey card with the intention of completing it during his flight, ensuring his involvement in the subscription box program. Adam answers questions in the survey that relate back to his hobbies. He is delighted that the survey suggests sending him new gear for his pastimes, along with a gift card to a local restaurant that's unfamiliar to him. Attendees will immediately spot a survey station conveniently positioned next to the front desk. This station provides attendees with the choice to either subscribe, consider a partnership with Live in Local, or complete the survey using an iPad. The prospect of partnering with Live in Local may pique the interest of individuals like Jennifer Allen, a 35-year-old businesswoman who owns a small boutique. She is traveling for market and notices Live in Local. She has been wanting to expand her business, so she chooses the partnership option on the screen. After learning more, she is really thinking about partnering with them, so she takes a look around the rest of the shop. As you step into the adjacent area, 
you'll come across an informal seating zone where individuals can relax while forming connections with fellow visitors. Subscription boxes are readily available, allowing people to conduct their own investigation of the brand, as well as assess whether they're interested in a potential partnership. This environment is great for someone like Jennifer as she seeks to gather as much information as possible before making a significant decision. Adjacent to the seating area lies a petite boutique that features an array of four distinct shops. This beautifully exemplifies the essence of Live In Local as it regularly spotlights various local establishments each month. This charming spot may pique the interest of individuals like Judy Jackson. Judy Jackson, a 45-year-old mother who frequently embarks on trips to visit her family, possesses a passion for shopping and deep commitment to her loved ones. As Judy gazes upon the small boutique in the distance, she instinctively feels compelled to pay it a visit. After pursuing the boutique's offerings, her curiosity is piqued, leading her to retrieve a business card from the table. To her delight, Judy discovers that this establishment offers a subscription service that delivers fashionable accessories directly to her doorstep. She also selects an adorable item from the boutique for her daughter before continuing on her way. Finally, as you make your way to the rear of the establishment, you'll come across a cozy bar space. Much like the boutique, this area also showcases four distinct eateries, allowing you to savor a variety of delectable dishes they have to offer. Furthermore, at the bar, you can unwind and indulge in specialty beverages sourced from multiple vendors. While this section is situated at the back, should someone happen upon it first, there are customer surveys available for those waiting to place their food orders. Upon departing the event, visitors will encounter additional seating arrangements and a wall adorned with a map. On this wall, individuals are encouraged to place pins that signify their place of origin, enabling Live In Local to gather valuable data on the geographical diversity of their audience and potentially broaden their market reach. As patrons make purchases at either the bar area or the boutique, they will receive a card containing a QR code linked to the respective business's website. This handy feature facilitates easy reordering for satisfied customers, fostering a convenient and seamless shopping experience. Live in Local seeks to remind the enduring significance of shopping locally and forging connections within one's community. This brings my presentation to a close. Thank you.